beginning. We're gonna be doing metal boxes with the new IOD Malo Transfer and Brocon. We have two metal boxes. We uh, have prepped them with some primer, sanded, cleaned, done the primer, and I have painted these, or Shirley has painted these, with Fusion Casement and Fusion Plaster. We're gonna be working on these with transfers, adding some distressing, a little bit of texture and layers, and we will get this party started. Thank you for joining us. I'm Lynn from L&J Goods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, you guys, let's move on. <laughs> we not, again, like I said, could we not use like an entire pad of these beautiful birds here? Because they're just so sweet, yeah, aren't they? Are so you like brocante. I love brocante. I gotta think about how I'm placing this guy. Cut it right there, right at the end here. It's okay if a little bit of the bird's belly is gone. Remember our uh, rule about placement on something. If you snapped a picture of this little batch of birds, maybe you couldn't get every single bird in the frame of your camera. I want you to keep that in mind when you are thinking about composition and layout. So these are metal boxes and we just prep them like we do any metal box. the IOD transfer Jacqueline would like to know. <laughs> oh, sorry Jacqueline. This is called brocante. I'm thinking it also needs just, like these are leftover little bits from the Malo transfer project that I did. I just feel like it needs some other flying objects up here. If you see our YouTube video I did for IOD release with the specimen cabinet, I had a lot of leftover little pieces. And so what I do is I, I just clip them all together so that they stay together and they don't come off their backing. Because I feel like, like these birds are looking. But you can see how it's going. When you distress, man, it all of a sudden gives it so much more character. This is an old mailbox, which you could use as a mailbox if you put, like, if it was on your porch, and I'm going to seal it with our funcature, which is weatherproof. Um, but this would this would be a great mailbox. Cheryl would use it as a lunchbox, and I appreciate that, Cheryl. <laughs> That's a great idea. Very lightly distress over my birdies if you distress over your transfers remember these are these are printed on the uh, substrate so when you distress you're basically removing the printed image from the surface of the trance so you do want to kind of take it easy um, and use a nice worn piece of sandpaper or sanding block so that you don't remove too much of it want one more little butterfly. Like he, he's looking up at it. Like what's what's up on my head? And you asked. <laughs> so if you would prefer not to have my opinion, I would recommend you don't ask for it. <laughs> no, I want you to always say, Mom, that's fantastic. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take this is Pentart antiquing gel in olive. I'm just gonna dip my my stipple stencil brush in there. Take the excess, because I want a very subtle um, pattern in the background. Fantastic, wouldn't it? I hardly have any um, medium on here now, any of that glaze. And that's what's gonna give me that really faint and subtle. I was even thinking of just some very subtle, like this. I mean, it's just kind of a cool, that is, yeah, that yeah is, it's yeah. very cool. I'm not going to try to get a complete transfer of this. See, I've got my words like every, like here and there. So it looks a little random and sketchy, kind of. Isn't that neat? 
see that? We can that pop it cool. up I here love that and do those words like up here and it's not just like one big strip. So when I add words Over to here. my projects, it looks like a ransom note. Yeah. Well, how about that? Obviously, you know, these are all words and everything, but look at the way that we can use them to create I love it. additional texture on here, you guys. Paint. Okay. Super cool. All right, so I'm gonna get a quick coat of a uh, sealer over this, let this dry, and then we'll do a little bit of dark distressing wax. By using the Funkature top coat, this is weatherproof. Someone asked if you plan your design out or wing it. I'm kind of a plinger. Yeah, Let's call can, it a plan. You do plan as you go as necessary. I plan. I kind of know what I'm going to do. And then, you know, like the this right here, the words, I thought, oh, you know something? That would, like, give it some really cool, right. like, a, a little different light layer and texture over it. So that I just was winging it. After the top coat has dried, I have added some additional distressing with dark wax. Than mine. Why don't we go there and have some more wine? Cause life is for living. We would sure love it if while you're here, you go ahead and click that subscribe button and leave us a comment to let us know what you'd like to see next from Ellen J. Goods. And maybe, Mom, if you're interested, we'll show you a picture of Lucky. If you're lucky. Uh, happy National Boston Terriers Day. See you in a few days. Bye. Bye. You can find all the products we use today at ellenjgoods.com or at our brick and mortar shop in Medina, New York. We're located in a beautiful historic town just between Buffalo and Rochester and easily accessible from the Canada border and the tri-state area. Doesn't it kind of freak you out like when you think like you pull the blanket back and it's like, oh my gosh, there's a spider! Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, like I yeah, literally yeah. like, oh my word, yeah. how has have, have it been in my bed? Oh dear me. And of course, JR always says, well, we live at the lake. <laughs> like, okay. True.